becoming an astronaut is one of the most difficult and thrilling paths in science. But if you live in the UK and dream of heading to space, here's exactly how you make that happen. Let's start with the basics. You'll need a degree in a science, technology, engineering, or maths field. The minimum is a bachelor's, but honestly, a master's or PhD gives you a real edge. Add at least three years of work experience in a relevant job, think aerospace engineering, medical research, or military aviation, and you're ticking the right boxes. Then there's the physical side. Astronauts must meet strict medical standards. That means near-perfect vision, no chronic illnesses, and the physical and mental endurance to survive isolation, pressure, and zero gravity. And yes, NASA and ESA will test all of that. Once you meet the requirements, you'll go through an intense multi-stage application process. Step one is submitting a flawless application. That includes your CV, education, work experience, languages, and references. If you pass the initial screening, it gets real. Next is a battery of cognitive and psychological tests. Reaction speed, memory, multitasking, stress tolerance. These are designed to filter out candidates who can't perform under pressure. If you make it through that, it's on to the medical exams and isolation challenges. You'll spend days locked in a simulation chamber with other candidates, monitored constantly. Then comes the hardest part. Interviews. Senior astronauts, engineers, and psychologists assess your leadership, communication, and decision-making skills. They're looking for someone who can function as part of a crew in tight, dangerous conditions. And if you beat all that, you're either placed in the main astronaut corps or held on reserve, like ESA's astronaut reserve team. From there, it's one to two years of hardcore training spacewalk simulations, Russian language courses, robotics, survival exercises, you name it. For UK candidates, ESA is your best bet. Tim Peake became the first British ESA astronaut, and there will be more chances in the next round of selections expected around 2030. So if you're young, focused, and ready to commit, now's the time to start. Becoming an astronaut is brutally hard. But every one of them started somewhere, with a dream, a plan, and a willingness to push further than most people ever do. If that sounds like you, start climbing.